what is going on people it is Tuesday today usually I'd be doing my terror Tuesday but that's going on the sideline for for now at least um, what I am gonna do today is I got a few little messages well not messages but a few things going on I got a few movies today being it being Tuesday movie Tuesday so I got a, a few new movies um, I got something incorporated with Facebook coming and then I got a question hopefully some of you can help me out with it or not or point people into this story. I'll talk about it later first of all let me get into this uh, these are the movies I picked up today uh, three of them came out today two of them are old I just picked them up now this first one is a really good movie I forget exactly when it came out um, Oh, it's too small to look, but it's uh, Cinderella Man. It's 2000's best of the decade. Really good movie. I do have the DVD. I just decided to upgrade. It was only 10 bucks at Target, so I decided to get it. Uh, really good movie. It comes with most of the bonus features plus more, so why not just upgrade? Uh, this movie here is another one that came out. Probably a few months ago, I never got around to get it. I found it for cheap at Walmart. So I'm like, you know what, let me just get it now. Just because. And that's <clears throat> Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Last Stand. This one came out today. I remember somewhat hearing about it. And then uh, my family was talking about it. And I kind of brushed up on what I remember seeing in the trailer. I decided to get it today. And that's... Uh, August Osage County uh, has a good cast. It's got Meryl Streep, Julie Roberts, Ewan McGregor. I know them. These three I don't know. Chris Cooper, Abigail Breslin. Actually, that sounds familiar. And Benedict Cumberbatch. Yes, Benedict Cumberbatch. That's just an awesome name. So he's going to be probably one of my favorite actors. But that's August Osage, Osage County. If anybody knows about this movie, leave it in the comments. These two I picked up today and I have watched. This one, I pretty much just got to go along with the series. Like I said in most of my videos, I am a completist. So even if the movie is horrible, I still pick it up just to have the series. Not that this one's horrible, it just follows in the footsteps of all the other ones. This Paranormal Activity, the Mark ones. Like I said, with these movies, they're pretty much like a one-trick pony. It's got one of those uh, jumpy factors. Not really scary or gory, it's more of a jump-at-you kind of thing. And if you watch them too many times, you kind of know exactly when it's going to happen. And you kind of... it loses some of its factor... And this one, it's a whole different story or different family from the other ones. Um, something happens that the, they live in apartments and everything. And, um, you know, they, um, what do you call it? Strange things starts happening. This one woman ends up getting killed. And then every this one kid has a camera. The whole thing's taped, just like the other ones. And they end up going into this uh, apartment and... Um, and what do you call it? They um, end up getting like attacked by the spirit. The kid realizes that he has like a bite mark on him, and he starts turning into whatever a demon or whatever it is. The cool thing about this is towards the end, it kind of wraps into the other one. I don't want to give too much away for those who haven't seen it, but just I'll just say, at points in this movie, it kind of wraps into the other ones. Like I guess it's like a side story coming together, but it was all right. I mean, it wasn't the best. But with these, it's it's like I said, it's a one-trick pony kind of deal. Like, you know what you're going to get. It's going to be jumpy scenes. But once you realize the whole movie, then it's kind of, you know, loses its factor. Um, This one here, I was excited for. I, was, I saw the first one in the movie theaters. And I never got around to see this one. So it was a longer wait than the other one. And I picked it up. And 
Not that it's disappointed me, but, well, I guess you could say it, um, it kind of disappointed me. But it reminds me of, let, let, let me tell you the movie first and then I'll explain. That's The Hobbit, uh, The Desolation of Smog. I look at it as like The Lord of the Rings. Me, myself, I enjoyed The Lord of the Rings series, but the second one was my least favorite. I like the first one the most. I like the third one and then the second one. I like the first Hobbit, and it was has its action in it, but I think of it more as an introduction into the whole movie. Um, this one kind of reminded me of the, the second Lord of the Rings because... I was expecting a little bit more action and a little bit more to the storyline. Not that it was bad. It, it wasn't bad. It was a really good movie. It's just not what I was expecting. I was expecting a little bit more. Um, did did follow the book. I did read The Hobbit in school. So that's why I was excited for this series. Uh, like the dwarves going into the um, those barrels when the elves take them and that was pretty cool and getting interaction with uh, the humans and the one town I mean it was it was all right I'm expecting big things for the third one because of the whole book but I don't know it just I was expecting I guess a little bit too much from this movie I am a little disappointed I don't want to say I'm ho horribly disappointed because it was a good movie it just I don't know didn't catch me as much as I thought it was going to, but what could you do? It's it, like I said, it's still a good movie. Go out and watch it. But I don't know. I was just spe expecting a little bit more. Uh, those are the ones I picked up uh, today. Well, it's my little review. Um, I'm trying this new thing. Uh, I posted it on on my Twitter. I posted part of it on my Facebook. I'm going to post a little bit here. Like I was saying the other day about the UV codes. Um, if anybody does not use them, uh, let me know. Send me a personal message. I'm trying to donate some of my collection out. And it kind of incorporates these uh, these uh, UV codes. So if anybody that does collect that has UV codes just sitting around that eventually will um, expire... If you don't use them, just let me know. Um, I'm trying something a little different. Uh, personal message me if you need any more information. I'm still trying to get this whole uh, thing under wraps. I'm, I'm trying to kind of put this all together. But uh, my brother does work for a boys and girls club, and they are always, you know, looking for donations. I was thinking about doing some, uh, giving some of my at least kid movies away and everything. So if anybody just has UV codes, I'll personal message me and I'll explain a little bit further as I get into my own little, uh, get my whole little thing going. That's one, like I said, if anybody uses them and knows friends that don't, uh, just let them know about this or, or see if you can talk to them or whatever, but that would be much appreciated. Um, yeah. And the other part of this video, like I was saying, the other day on Facebook, uh, there's this whole little thing going on where you list a top ten of a certain letter. Like someone someone had a list, and they were given the letter R. And they give their top ten. And if anybody liked that comment or liked this status, uh, they would get their own letter. So I thought, why not take incorporate that from Facebook and put it here on YouTube and start a little bit something different. So I'm just going to start the alphabet off with A's. I have 10 movies here. Well, actually, I have 12. There are honorable mentions uh, of my top 10 movies that start with the letter A. Uh, not in any particular order. I just picked the ones that I liked a lot that start with the letter A so it's this list will probably not appeal to everyone there be titles that probably most people have heard of and whatever but some you might not agree with me uh, the first two are honorable mentions uh, they just missed the cut and if I had a top 20 they'd be in it uh, the first one is 
any given Sunday with uh, Al Pacino, Dennis Quaid, Jamie Foxx, uh, Cameron Diaz, James Wood, and LL Cool J. Pretty much the whole story, well, not the whole story, of, of semi-league professional football that, you know what happens, the money gets the people, they start changing what goes on behind the scenes, who's taking steroids, who's not, who's getting injured and taking uh, medicine to keep them going, and the, the fights that go on between teams and whatever, and who's trying to screw who over, but any given Sunday is definitely an eye-opener for um, professional sports because you know what goes on. It just opens people's eyes. Definitely a good movie. Uh, this one snuck in. I did a review on this. I got it a few months ago. It's definitely a different kind of, uh, I would call it a horror movie, but that's uh, American Mary. By uh, directed by the uh, or filmed by the Saskia sisters, they're doing a few other movies. I'm definitely gonna pick them up because I like the just the whole gist of the movie about a girl that ends up. Um, she is a uh, in medical school trying to go for surgery, and she ends up going to get a job at a strip club. But instead of having a strip, something happens, and she has to use her uh, medical knowledge, and the guy pays her well. And then word got round that she's doing these surgeries, and they are odd surgeries, and people start coming to her. And I guess there's a whole underground, uh, like, website and group that, like, body, ma uh, I don't even know what to call it. Uh, well, they just do crazy stuff to their bodies, and she's one of the surgeons that will do it because she's making big money. It's definitely an interesting movie. Definitely check it out. Um, like I said, it's it's very, just the whole thought of some of these surgeries is the stuff that gets you. So American Mary, that's another one that just missed my top ten. But here's one, here's here's my top ten. Like I said, no particular order, it's just the movies I enjoy. Uh, Air Force One with Harrison Ford. Everybody knows it with the plane. Air Force One gets taken over. He's the president, and he's pretty much kicking ass to take his plane back over. I don't want to talk too much about anything because uh, I'm already almost 13, 14 minutes in. Uh, this one's a classic horror movie, American Werewolf in London. Uh, two Americans, they uh, travel to London, and uh, they're backpacking through this small village and they get attacked by something that they don't know the one guy gets killed and the other guy gets bitten sooner or later you find out that it was a werewolf and the one guy's changing uh... you know the story is definitely a great one definitely a classic uh... this one here apollo thirteen with uh... tom hanks kevin bacon bill paxton gary sinise and ed harris you know the story of uh, the mission gone wrong. They all go up into space. Like I said, I don't want to talk too much about all these. Uh, this one's a recent one, uh, The Avengers. To tell you the truth, I was never really big into Marvel beforehand uh, until the movie started coming out. Uh, Spider-Mans were all right, but then once like Iron Man came out and then Captain America and uh, the Hulk, that pretty much caught my fancy. So. Once this came out and inc incorporated pretty much everyone, Thor, Iron Man, uh, Captain America, the Hulk, uh, what's the, uh, I forget the other two, the, the girl in it. I Like I said, I was never a big Marvel fan, so I wouldn't know the smaller characters that play roles, but the Avengers is up there. This one I like a little bit more than the first one, and... I love the first one. This one's just a little bit more entertaining. I watched this cartoon, yes, cartoon, as a kid all the time, and that's uh, an American tale, Five Goes West. Like I said, I like the first one. I just like this one a little bit better. This one, they're already in America, and instead of being in New York, they travel to, I don't even know where, just west, and they go into this, like, uh, town where... It's run by a cat, and they said that the cats are good. Watch the movie. Uh, if you like American Tale, you'll like American Tale, Five Will Goes West. If you've seen the first one and haven't seen the second one, I don't know what you're doing. 
But definitely go out and check this, especially if you're like me. I love cartoons. I'm 28 and I still love kid stuff. Uh, here's another kid's movie, like I said. And that's uh, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Um, the guy Charlie and his little friend Itchy, uh, they're pretty much like gangsters. Uh, they go to this rival guy's house and find out that he has this girl chained up, a human girl that knows how to talk to animals, and they use her as like a uh, way to make money. They go to different races and bet on people because they know uh, they know what's going on. Uh, this one here, I'm going to pick the first alien. This one's a triple pack, but I'm going to pick the, the first alien out of the whole thing. It was started off the franchise. It's one of the classic horror movies about people going into space and then you know, having to fight an alien. You know the whole story. Uh, this one here, the first American Pie. I like the the second one's all right. Uh, American Wedding was good. Uh, I like the reunion. If it, it, I had to put it, it'd probably go this one and then American Reunion. But this one kicked off the whole franchise. You know the story. Uh, four friends in high school. Um, pretty much all have their own little storylines. The one kid falls in love with this girl in band camp, and then he ends up fucking a pie. And if you haven't seen this movie, watch it. Uh, this one's an old school one. It stars uh, Kelly McG uh, Kelly McGillis and Jodie Foster. This one was very intense for me because I remember watching it when I was young. But it's uh, The Accused with. Uh, Jodie Foster, like I said, she ends up getting raped at a uh, at this bar, and pretty much the whole movie is like um, the whole, the court scene, and then you get every once in a while bits and pieces of what actually happens. Uh, no one pretty much believes her because she is pretty much like a, a loner, a traveler. She's uh, alcoholic. A lot of the people there know all these guys that did it, and they want to keep their mouth shut until the end of the movie with the court case. And uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. It's definitely intense. Uh, and to round about my top ten, this one is one of my favorite movies out there. Um, who is it? It's got Ethan Hawke when he was younger. Who else is in this? Um, uh, it doesn't even say who else is in it. Uh, Robert Watts. Who else? Uh, Vincent Spano. He's got a bunch of people. That's alive. Uh, it's about... Another reason why I like this is because I am... My heritage is Uruguayan. And this is about a Uruguayan rugby team that is flying over the Andes and they end, their plane ends up crashing into the Andes and it's a bunch of these rugby players having to stay alive so what actually happens is they have to pretty much start eating the dead they have them all frozen so they have the meat and everything uh, ready but um, yeah they uh, it's based on a true story uh, they actually have part of the documentary on this DVD I was watching actually a couple days ago they had the whole story on again but the whole thing is these guys trying to stay alive so at one point they end up trying to get something to eat because they were there for a while um, they have to start eating each other and then avalanches start happening and then a few of them try to go and try to find civilization um, definitely one of those if you haven't seen this movie I'd say definitely watch it it's very um, it's very intense and very inspiring at points too and it's just a great movie to watch so yeah that's my top 10 with starting with the A's so to keep this game going uh, or whatever what you guys are gonna have to do if you wanna join is uh, leave a comment on or like the well here you don't know who liked it but like the video and then leave a comment on the bottom and I'll give you a letter and then if you want to make a video continue continuing it and then it just goes on and on from there so hopefully you enjoyed this little update kind of version of a video and um, yeah I still have my 
contest going on. It does end the 18th, so get your video responses in. I do have a bunch of names in here already. Thank you for everyone who entered. I probably will be doing a little shout-out video probably tomorrow of everyone who did enter my contest, and I'll leave their links on the bottom, but I will be shouting out the people who did enter, and uh, yeah, I guess, uh, like I always say, I got a fan page on Facebook, I got a group page on Facebook, I got a Twitter, I got an Instagram, and yeah, I will see you.